One of the biggest challenges in orthodontics is something we call anchorage control. In other words, how can we move a tooth from one position to the another without affecting any of the other teeth in the process? Think of the giant rubber band. How is the force distributed? It's distributed equally on the both sides, correct? Now, what happens if one side is stronger than the other? The weaker side gets pulled towards it. Using this knowledge, we can literally control how and where we want teeth to move. While we can, with braces, proper anchorage control and teeth extractions even improve face features, let's start by assuming that you already have a pleasing face and we do not want to change that, but we need teeth extractions. Can it even be done? And if so, how? And if you're already wearing braces, Let's find out how exactly your orthodontist is closing your space. When do we even decide how we are going to close space? Well, we decide that during the initial treatment plan. That's the most important part of the treatment plan that involves extractions at least. We extract teeth, we place brackets, it takes us a few months to relieve all your crowding and align your teeth and then the hard part starts. Now we need anchorage control and we need to start bringing all those teeth together into their correct position. Let's Take a look here. We have a arch. We will separate it into the anterior segment and two posterior segments. We also want to remove force, first premolars. So now we are left with spaces here and perfectly aligned arch after the initial phase of treatment. So how are we going to close this space? Let's take a look first at the reciprocal anchorage. So this is the space closure method that is the easiest and simplest to use. So in this one, the whole anterior segment is going about halfway back and the both posterior segments are going halfway forward. This is the one you might see your orthodontist use whenever you're seeing those uh, chains spreading from your first molars to your first molars or second molars. This is pretty much the simplest one. Okay, for the next anchorage, the one everybody is scared about, teeth retraction, you will notice I removed sevens. I will show you soon why. So in this type of anchorage, we want to retract frontal teeth back. So we usually do this when there is a large overjet in the front. But this is the one everybody is scared about because if the tongue is already in this position and we were to do this, then this would happen. So you wouldn't have any more room for your tongue. Okay, so how do we move these teeth back without affecting, without these teeth moving? You will notice there is more of them. So the first thing we can do is include sevens. That way we are making this part tougher than the front. However, that's usually not enough. This will make it move like 30-40% forward still. So what we, would, we will usually do is move canines separately back. So we move them first and then we have the frontal segment with weak incisors just left to move back like this. And you will notice in case like this, we have room for tongue left. So how will you know that this is the anchorage your orthodontist is using? Well, he will be including your sevens or maybe even eights. He would be moving your canines separately. He might be using uh, tads, like mini implants in the back to retract all these teeth together. Or there is also another method. He might be using transpalatal arch. So basically connecting your sevens together or your sixes together. And by doing that, kind of locking these teeth in place so they can't move forward. He would also be using like wire under your wire to connect these teeth together. Then when the canines are pulled back, he would connect it as well. So he has to use more complicated movement in order to achieve this. You do not have to be scared so much of, that he's using this type of anchorage. If he's using the simplest methods with just chain and you don't have any additional elements. By the way, I see a lot of you are worried about teeth extractions narrowing your upper jaw, narrowing your smile. This is a common mis misconception. Why? Because most of the modern arches that we use are much wider than your teeth. Let me show you that as well. 
So this is the model of somebody who is currently undergoing treatment and this is the arch we use. And if I place it over these teeth, so basically it's going to widen your smile anyway. And then even if it's wide, we just move teeth forward or back, whatever we need, doesn't matter. But it's, the, it's two separate things that people in comments are always conflicting. Important thing is that regardless of teeth extractions or not, when you're getting braces, your smiles are going to get wider. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And for the last one, the minimal anchorage. In this one, we want to move the posterior segments forward without affecting anterior teeth at all. Now, this is the most difficult one. Why would we want to move teeth like that? Well, usually because these teeth are in the ideal position for your face, for their angle in the bone, and also if the tongue is pushed forward, we can't move the frontal teeth anymore back because it will cause relapse, if not breathing problems, which everybody's worried about. Worried about. So in order to get this type of space closure, we have to separate the posterior segments. We would start by moving only fives forward. After they are here, we would connect them or change them into the, into the anterior segment. So we would connect this one here as well, making the anterior segment stronger. This way, we now have the strength to move sixes forward as well. After they are there, we connect them again. And then we do the same for sevens. There you go. We moved teeth forward without affecting the anterior teeth at all. We moved them forward without affecting the face and by leaving enough space for the tongue. So this is possible. The only problem with this is that it takes a bit longer just because we are usually moving teeth one by one. There are also options where you might be using like mini implant stats, but this is the simplest way to explain what is happening. And that's exactly how you can tell how your orthodontist is closing your spaces. So if he's using the, that transpalatal arch in the back, he's retracting teeth. If he's moving teeth one by one forward, that means it's a minimal anchorage that's not going to affect your face. If he's just putting that chain from six, of, uh, six to six, then it's the reciprocal anchorage uh, where both seg segments, your posterior and anterior, are going to move forward. Teeth extractions are not the boogeyman. Orthodontists who never do them and orthodontists who don't know how to do them properly are. To find out more, go watch this video.